Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, Long War of the Chosen to be precise. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough. Um, we are jumping right into an exciting Haven defense where we're being attacked by the Assassin and uh, her cruel, cruel supporters. We don't know how many there are, but it's going to be big. Very big. Uh, of course, um, we are bringing um, a couple of uh, well-equipped uh, supporters of uh, the King Emperor. The Space Wolves this time are going to deploy with two Dreadnoughts, a Crusader and uh, Dreadnought himself, and a uh, very good team out of Sharpshooter, Specialist, Gunner, Technician, yet another Sharpshooter and Diva is the Psy Operative, a little bit low on the front line. Beta is potentially going to be our front line and maybe the Dreadnoughts, but uh, that's not uh, really bad. We might be able to pull this off. All right, join me when we're gonna go in. Let's go. All right, we landed. So we got an all out attack on our Haven, which means we need to rescue as many of the soldiers as we can and from next round onwards reinforcements are going to come in we need to hold up at least four rounds problem with that is the uh, soldiers might uh, be spread over the entirety of the map and we only got one round to really locate them and uh, take our positions there will be uh, a chosen 100 percent so we're going to need to fight them. But the good news is first round is free movement. Damn, an Os Oscar Mike would go a long way in this particular environment. Good, positioning our sniper up here. Okay, can't yet find the the operatives I can see one over here we can take them uh, when we're leaving Got it. what I want to do is take at least two of our uh, soldiers and basically let them basically let them move into uh, through the entire map would like to put a uh, position a sniper up there using frodo to give them an extra action the other rescue protocol is for the, those who are helping the civilians i would like to get four or five out of this okay we got one over here And one over there okay Mac moves up Frodo moves up Diva very solidly positions himself here we can reach a lot of uh, the enemies from there and i think the max one of them i might need to use in order to actually move uh, around and find civilians it seems to be one down there He spawns far away. But nice, we're fighting against the Warlock the first time. So can uh, end Overwatch, Overwatch automatically after ending their turn. Attack uh, can mark targets. 
can very hard uh, very hard to be hit uh, with overwatch shots overkills uh, targets and gets kinetic plating when generate shielding so overwatch against him is really bad because not only do you miss him you also give him um, kinetic shielding it's one of the chosen this mission just got a little more dangerous a little? Way more dangerous. All right, I'll go. Well, I could try to hit him. Or or we're moving out and are actually trying to rescue civilians. There's another one over here. Standing in the open, but that should be fine. Got a civilian here and here. One here. Solid copy. Okay. Really? Well, that's one way of getting rid of uh, the uh, faces one, I suppose. Interesting timing for the faces one to reveal itself. can uh, tell you that at least we now know that uh, there were ever only nine operatives in here good so one two we rescued right Anyone over here? Maybe, maybe not. Not clear. So we got two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Gosh, this is difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six down there. Still three missing. Moves forward. You know what? Might as well overdrive. to here 
Warlock is being shredded and marked. Couple of shots. Couple more shots. Okay. Let's just test if there is anyone out here. Oh, look at that. Good, so we know there is at least one more over there. get into the close zone. Why does she have double tap? What the actual F? Give her a sniper and let her shoot. Please. Oh, we got one more here. Cool. So again, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. give uh, plenty of movement actions but Arclight is the one that I would like to give the action to because he's currently being flanked by the warlock and I don't want that takes a better position over here and end of turn Heal burning. On my way. And we're moving to get her. Kill on the sentry. Don't even want the reinforcements to start stacking up. Four to six. No, that's better. Come on, kill. Mm-hmm. 
Let me think. Move up. Moving this guy back. So just double checking, I don't want to miss out someone. Okay, I'm pretty sure there was no one here. Okay, well, she's going to go We're going to use the opportunity to mark the warlock and dish out some serious damage. hit keep it going all right one more hit and he's down Cool, five ability points. Didn't want to let them pass by. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least, we've held off the chosen for another day. Okay, one, two, three. We need to get this four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I missing one? There must be a ninth one somewhere, and I have no idea where, but they could. Might as well be anywhere, really. Don't have the time to find that out, unfortunately. I think we don't have the time to f uh, figure that out. Moves up there and off turn. It seemed a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Enemies moving on our position. Back in. I, I guess that'll be okay.
Okay, we're on our way out. Good, now let's try to get these guys down. Before we do that though, let's see what the most efficient way of doing that is. Where's the last Viper? Didn't we have like three of them? So we had two Vipers and a Chrysalid, right? <laughs> Am I missing something? Good, we're slowly moving. One, two. Ah, you were hiding there. Hmm, I see, okay. Okay. That was Viper number one will go down. Unless, of course, we're missing 96% shots. Just double checking. We can't get civ. No, nah, we can't get civilians with civilians. Never mind. <laughs> okay, the game really doesn't want us to kill these vipers. I need to move, we can't afford to stay here. into the open and we can mind merge with someone standing in the open or we're just overwatching
Good, time for us to pack our bags and go. Would have been cool to kill him instead of just injuring him. So I think now is definitely time to get out of here. Let's do the civilians first. Why is this one triggered now? Maybe from the reinforcements. Okay. Oh, you do have a flashbang. Well, we're going to use that. Believe me. And another flashbang. Ooh, okay. That's two strong reasons for keeping you guys around. You, on the other hand, look like you want to leave. Good. We got five out of nine. That's already more than I wanted. Next turn should be the exit strategy. So no matter what we're doing, I hope it's, worth it. it's go time now. Let's get that chrysalid. Nice little shredding there. Fortify. Can we stand in the open? I'll think about that. Nice, nice, nice. Chrysalid almost down. <laughs> you killed yourself. Stupid. Could we need to double move? I don't see any other options here. Same for our sniper. Good, we do have two flashbangs and you also need to double move. Okay. Now flashbang number one goes to you. That way no poison spit, no tongue pull, nothing. Fine. Insanity, whom can we control? 100% over here. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. This guy goes down. you to eat another grenade with a couple of people in the open that's not great but there's only so much I can do wow the game really wants us to leave now that one and overwatch okay well listen uh, we can move we can go we can go 
can go. We can go. Okay, unfortunately, one, just one tile short from getting out of here. Let me fix something, sorry. Good, listen. We need to find a decent position. Fire, unfortunately. Fortunately, we'll only do so much to Berserkers. Good, so that's one. You need to go out of here as well. And Holly needs to go out of here as well. That's eight out of nine, which I think is... Uh, near to or close to flawless from how difficult these missions are let's get the viper down no viper sniper this time and we get a nice repositioning Eva potentially needs to exit We got my main as a shot, so we could take one Berserker completely out just by letting him stay where he currently is. I think that's the right uh, thing to do. Good. So you can't move, and as long as we're not stupid enough to stay next to you, you should be fine. Um, we'll do. Uh, we'll go with him in a second. I think the next biggest threat now is the uh, priest here, who absolutely needs to die. All right, kill. The second Berserker is an equally big problem, but one that we might be able to fix. One, two, three, okay, cool. We're advancing teamwork and we have the power to blind one enemy which again could be that viper if we wanted to really low chance uh, shot here but it could be one that could solve a problem for us. Oh, good, hit. actually, good hit. Surprisingly good hit. Um, we do not have a way of dealing two points of damage. Now, combat protocol, of course, would be an absolute highlight. But we do have kill zone with a full magazine. And if the enemies come yet again from there then that will be a treat. Could also do that. Lock it down. All right.
right, no matter where we position ourselves, so, I mean, we could go into full cover, right? That would be a start. Why not? And then we're going with insanity. Don't have another target. Never mind. Took enough damage, Eva. Let's get out of here. And that leaves us with blinding protocol to take care of the Viper. Okay, and okay turn. All of that action just because we couldn't really evac now. Oh wow. Well. Of course, they are. D of course, they are not uh, coming through the kill zone channel. Uh, come on, really? Max taking some of the damage, not a big problem. The Vipers, bigger problem. But luckily one that we don't need to deal with anymore. They've chosen me. They're bringing in reinforcements. Okay, I want to... Uh, just out of curiosity, there is no negative in all overdriving let's see if we can remove some of the cover we only have one shot that's a 50 50. you know what i'll take that 50 50. didn't work in which case we're going to here That'll trigger two times Overwatch. Yes, waste your efforts on the robot. I should probably move or fight or something. And then we're moving out. In the meantime, go, go, move. Go. And move. Got it. Moving. And move. And move. It, and of course, move. Dreadnought is not going to be left behind either. And we are leaving now. By the way, in case you're hearing sounds, I apologize, but that is a new streamer. That has just hijacked my stream, or recordings rather. Cool. Very close uh, mission, very close mission. We took some damage, but I think all things considered, we got five um, action points, uh, ability points for that. We also saved eight out of ten, uh, respectively eight of, uh, out of nine, and killed a faces um, one on top of it and the last one might be another faces one so <laughs> if that's the case then even better at least we know these chosen can be killed well temporarily 10 days hmm. not great but you'll get over the wounding we even get some rewards and looking at the wounds now let's take a let's take a good close look how many people are wounded we have plenty of available holy so two of them are almost back that's ours 
then we got a lot of them in the 10 days region now we're taking a lot of wounds now because we can't get the enemies killed in just one go which means we need to continue scanning for healing all right let's proceed so given that we have so many injuries it'll be paramount for us to keep at least a couple of soldiers uh, running. If we look at our squad, uh, the Blood Angels should get ready once the tired is gone. We're infiltrating Australia. Space Wolves are slightly updated once the covert action <clears throat> is over. I can finally um, move these guys here out. And then the rest of the squad, there are a couple of wounded uh, on here. The Imperial Fists would be ready to de be deployed soon-ish. I think after the training, we also get the lightly wounded uh, back here relatively soon. And then Ataxia can train the next um, folk. So that's good. And Salamanders are ready as well. So a couple of wounded here and there, but I think overall we're doing fine. I'm not doing the bond training yet. Let's just double check for um, for officer training. Nope, nothing that uh, none that we need. Coil guns are still being researched, so not much has happened really. That attack has now reduced us to eight, because those were the eight that we saved. And realistically, we could go to full hiding because we already have the, the facility ready. And if you look at it, Vigilance 20, it's just, this will be very, very, very painful for missions overall. Uh, so once the Blood Angels are ready, we're good to go. Um, in the meantime, Templar HQ, healing, and just try to get really back in shape. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> Once again, we just have been here. Guys, we live. Am I dreaming this up? We've just been there, didn't we? Oh no, it was up here. I see. That's in North America. Is where we just had uh, that mission. Or did we? The warlock was there. It could also no, no, no. I think it was North America then. Uh, seven? No, it, it no, it was here because eight were left over. Ten we had beforehand. So that's two attack missions in a row. And we immediately need to get there. Okay, well, tough cookies. So say if we take the salamanders, we still got two room for two more, which could be the max, uh, to be fair. Don't want to use the blood angels. We could go again with the space wolves. They've taken quite a bit of beating the last time, but they generally would be ready. I mean, they can feel four, right? What the salamanders could do, on the other hand, is they could they could feel the shinobi. But for me, the main reason why we want oh no oh no oh no Sam, you are in the squad. Sorry. Uh, the main reason why we wanted to field the space wolves to begin with was Sam, because his cyclic fire and his uh, multi shot really has saved the day against the chosen. 
and we will need that next turn as well. Okay, let me uh, build up a team and then we're going to defend the Haven once again. Okay, so we are done with uh, setting up the Space Wolves. They will return and go once again against uh, the enemies and that also brings us uh, to the end of today's episode. It was a defense mission and now I wouldn't have guessed that the literal next mission is yet another defense mission in the very same corridor. I've never seen that happen twice in a row but uh, full out attack followed by <coughs> a data tab leak. Something is happening down here. Clearly um, Advent is not happy with what they've seen. We're going to uh, resume here in the next episode. Thank you for watching guys. And as always, if you enjoy Long War of the Chosen, leave a comment and a like down below. That helps a lot. And see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.